Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh coming to you once again from Washington, D.C., District of Criminals, Mortar on the Potomac. That's right. I know what you're thinking, Adam. Aren't you still banned in D.C.? What, are you trying to get yourself in trouble again? Well, actually, oh, I am banned in D.C., but I am here on official government business. That's right. I have been called upon for a very special assignment to model the government's new high-tech jewelry line. Yes, that's right. I am now the proud owner, I'm sorry, custodian of this piece of government property known as a GPS tracking device. Thanks to uh, our last run-in in the court with Judge Patricia Broderick, I am now back in custody in Washington, D.C., probation status. And uh, we've got, you know, fortunately, we're still able to continue the tour, at least for our currently scheduled date. So we've got Richmond coming up this weekend, Asheville, Lexington, Cleveland, Detroit, Chicago, Milwaukee, M Madison. Check out the links below in our uh, tour schedule for more on that. And uh, if, if I'm coming by your house for a delivery, it's okay. I understand if you don't want the government to know that I was there when and exactly and for how long and all that whatnot. If, that is, if, if you're still laboring under the illusion that somehow the NSA isn't able to do its job, I'll, I'll meet you somewhere discreet. Not a big deal, I understand. One of the other fun things about this probation is I'm allowed to smoke weed, which is hilarious because one of my charges is for smoking a joint in front of a white in the White House here in D.C., which is actually legal now in D.C. and not even considered a probation violation for any offender here to test positive for marijuana. So I'll see you on tour. But uh, as you guys know, we're, we're really here because of the shotgun video that I made a couple years ago on Independence Day. And that was racking a shotgun in the ironically named Freedom Plaza just two blocks from the White House. And what we really were doing with that was, was setting out to show the uh, violent nature of gun control. And thanks to the United States Park Police, we succeeded beyond our wildest dreams. As you may know, they raided our home with uh, more men than they sent after Bin Laden, two helicopters, an armored vehicle, a police dog. They threw a flashbang grenade in at my dog and uh, had a, you know laser sights pointed at my chest, took uh, all of our housemates and, and uh, zip tied them and uh, roughed them up for a couple hours. But, um, you know, they, like I said, they, 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 every time you stand up to government, they, they tend to prove your point. And I don't think this is really any different because we've been on tour. We've been, uh, you know, we've been public about this. Uh, I've been accused of absconding my probation despite uh, all of my information being public, despite uh, informing my probation officer of, of exactly when and where I would be. But, um, you know, we've been spreading the message that uh, government is arbitrary and irrational. And once again, government helps us prove the point beyond any reasonable doubt. And uh, again, this is the, this, this, this angle bracelet here. Your tax dollars at work protecting the American people from dangerous YouTubers like this guy. So there are, are two great ironies uh, of this situation. And as you may have noticed, the, uh, the tattoo that I have here right above my, uh, my ankle bracelet is uh, a memorial tattoo that I got for the, uh, the Marines that, that I personally saw die in uh, in Fallujah, Iraq, and it says some gave all for nothing, and it was a, a really great uh, rude awakening, I guess you could say, for me to come back to the United States after fighting for our freedoms abroad to find out how many of them had gone away, and, and you know, it, it's one of those things that has called me to be here and has led to this particular legal situation that uh, I find myself in right now. But the other great irony of this is I, I don't think they're going to send me back to jail. And, and when we went to court on, on Monday, both uh, two government attorneys and uh, my probation officer here in D.C. actually recommended that I get sent back to jail for going out on this book tour. And, and I don't know, not, not communicating enough about it, like having every date on our website was insufficient. So um, I don't think they're going to send me back to jail because while I since I've been out, we published the book that I started writing while I was in jail, and since then, it's been banned in jail. That's right, we got an endorsement letter, I'm sorry, a letter from the uh, Department of Justice saying that the book was banned in U.S. prisons because it was a threat to the good order, security, and discipline of the institution, and if by that they mean government as a whole, I wholeheartedly agree and I'm grateful for such a wonderful endorsement from uh, from the United States Department of Justice. So I don't know, if, if they sent me back to jail, you know, maybe they'd have to keep me in solitary, but uh, I don't think I really want to find out. But hey, I'd rather go back to jail for a week or two or three or four even than, uh, you know, 
be on probation and dealing with this for, for all of two years. But I, I've only got six more months to go on, on my probation here. Uh, January is, is when it's up next year. And uh, we'll see. I, I mean, I, I can't imagine it being too difficult, except uh, the worst they can really do now is have me check in to D.C. once a month in person. So the tour might get a little more expensive if I have to fly back to D.C. And we have one more court hearing coming up with Judge Patricia Broderick on Monday. So things could still change. Wish me luck with that. And, uh, you know, on this on this tour, we've seen so much love from the, the community of people who care about the message of freedom. And we felt so much amazing support. Macy, my fiance and I, we just got engaged uh, a couple weeks ago. And we've been living out of our, our 19 foot travel trailer home for the last 10 months. It's been amazing, a glorious experience. And uh, when it was confiscated by road pirates and held for ransom in, in uh, New York last week, we had so many people step up. And, and you know, we talk about building a, a freer world as if it's something we got to wait for government to get out of the way of. But we're doing it right now. And it's, it's all the people that stand behind this message who are willing to show that love and, and, and give the love that, that we feel on the tour. So if you want to help out with that, you know, the contributions have just been amazing and, and feeling that love and support, making it possible for us to do what we do uh, is, is just so appreciated. So if you want to contribute, we really appreciate it. Uh, anything that doesn't get spent on the tour gets spent on books and stickers to give out more of them for free to spread this message, this most dangerous message that has to be banned by the United States government in all prisons. And by the way, you might think it's not a big deal to uh, ban a book in jail, but um, that's the only place where Americans still consistently read books. So that might be why. Anyway, hope to see you on the road. Oh yeah, one more thing. I mean, I gotta say, we, we gotta come up with a, a good name for this thing, right? So what do you wanna call this, uh, this, this ankle bracelet? Let me know in the comments.